hear ye, hear ye. Hello and welcome to Last Week, Right Now, with me, Mick Riggers. We're going to be giving you an in-depth look of last week's news. Last week, one of the greatest minds of our time passed away. Theoretical physicist Stephen Hawking defied motor neuron disease, living to the age of 76. His death will leave a void that will be difficult to fill in this anti-science political landscape that we find ourselves in. Cambridge Analytica, a company we mentioned a few weeks ago, (coughs) are now under investigation on both sides of the Atlantic and have been suspended from Facebook. The data mining company also offered such services as entrapment of politicians, spying, and distributing and promoting fake news. Portsmouth's very own independent dubious news source, Spotted Portsmouth, ran into trouble last week as the organisation's founder was convicted of stalking. The Facebook page has been called sexist in the past, and from some of the posts I would have to agree. The BBC edited a photo of Jeremy Corbyn to make him look more Russian. <coughs> You're right, mate. <coughs> <Let me. coughs> uh, giving the appearance of wearing a Yushanka hat with a backdrop of Moscow and a red filter. This is in response to Corbyn's calls for calm in the wake of the Salisbury nerve agent poisoning. Theresa May was sent down to Salisbury last week because the locals haven't been through enough. The Time's Up movement called for a re-examination of the 2015 Weinstein investigation. The New York District Attorney, who received many donations from Harvey Weinstein, threw out the case. Threw out the case. Threw out the case. Threw. The Weinstein company has now filed for bankruptcy and released all its employees from their non-disclosure agreements. As Weinstein's legacy lays in tatters where it belongs. President Trump continues to purge his own administration as he fires not one but two key officials. Andy McNabb. (coughs) McCabe. McCabe. Andy McCabe, Deputy Director of the FBI, was fired the day before his retirement, denying him access to his full pension because Jeff Sessions believes he lied under oath. Hmm. Rex Tillerson was also fired last week by John Kelly whilst Tillerson was on the toilet, which seems to sum up Trump's management style perfectly. Recently, resoundingly re-elected President Putin won a 74% share in his clearly legitimate election. Not really. Not really. No one wins those kinds of margins. Uh, Oh, not really. Leaked CCTV footage showed election observers filling out multiple ballots and stuffing the battle ballot boxes, presumably with votes for Putin. Oh, leaving the West wondering why he doesn't just fix the system like we do. D- do we? Do we do that? Yes, yes. <coughs> uh, okay, cool. Thank you for listening. I've been Mick Riggers, and that was last week, right now. We'll be back again next week. Uh, please, if you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget, right here, right now, we'll be back at the end of the month.